The chase is Mark Lebetz, a.k.a. The Beast. Very good morning to you. Good morning, sir. You've been morning, crunching the numbers on £33 million. Pounds. Yes, I think the one thing I can recommend to these guys is you need to learn your percentages fast, because anyone, <laughs> anyone trying to get anyone trying to get money off you... Is it a big percent? It is. It's a big percentage. Well, like, somebody who, say, quotes some 3% fee to handle their £33 million ah. doesn't sound much. It's a million quid. Yes, ah. yes, yes, yes. Good point, good point. Uh, in terms of interest that they're going to make on 33 million at the moment uh, interest rates are at a historic low 1.25 percent which works out on 33 million something like 1133 pound per day a day not too bad but let's put that in perspective if they'd have been lucky enough to win this in 1990 when interest rates were more like 13 oh. percent they'd have been making over 11,000 pounds a day Okay. Put it this way, right now they'll be praying that the Bank of England ups the interest rate. <laughs> what, so they can have more money? They can have more money. Because <laughs> that's really? what they need, isn't it? <laughs> exactly but, but at the moment, the, the properties, the, sort of the in thing to invest, you can make about 5 or 6%. So say they got a, a £30 million pound property portfolio, sort of buy a street somewhere kind of thing. As you do. They, as you do. Then they would be earning more like £5,000 a day, £1.8 million a year. Mm. So it's all about investing. If they wanted to buy one thing, yeah. that one massive purchase, what, what sort of thing could they buy with 33 million? What would take well, up the chunk of that money? You could always buy a quite a decent football club, but then you'd be losing money fairly fast. <laughs> it's a, well, the obvious thing is invest in something that's going to give you a return on your yeah. investment. And there's a whole host of people who will be more than happy to give you advice on how to spend it. But in actually, this doesn't sound too crazy. The, the, the money at the moment isn't that much. It's what you make off the back of it, which is the key thing. Mm. So you can buy a lot of lovely racehorses, but you'd be pretty poor pretty quickly. I, I imagine that £33 million, as extraordinary as exciting as it sounds, is pretty intimidating as well for the two of them, whose life mm. has just changed in, in a fraction of a second. Well, it is, because most of us are not geared up to that sort of level. We've all had the dreams, etc. But now you've got major financial decisions to make. And the most important one is what happens at the end of life. If they keep that £33 million to the end of their lives, the inheritance tax bill on that will be £13 million. Wow. So um, I can <clears throat> safely say they should take some good uh, estate planning and financial advice. Uh, yeah. And there'll be an awful lot of people willing to give them that. Yeah, spend it as quick as possible. Now, I understand you're on the Australian version of the chase. Yes, that's right. Does, um, it, does it make a difference? It makes a huge difference. Does it? For starters, you can swear a bit at five o'clock in Australia, <laughs> which is... Uh, Good old Aussies. No, I, I, I love that. It's, 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 it's like the chase uh, was the original days. It's really laid back. It's great. And Australians play things the right way. They play it really tough but fair. So, they are. so you, you give them a bit of grief, but at the end of the day, you shake hand and buy them a beer.